Hey Filmmaker Shung here, last time I showed you how to make a bloodstream, this time we're going to show you how to make a virus, however this is not the same shade as current coronavirus, just a random virus that I've made, it's a really disgusting looking virus, Look, uh, yeah it does have like, it just looks like a bunch of worms crawling on top of each other in a clump, so it looks very disgusting as something that shouldn't be in your body. So to make this we first need to make a black video, I've already got this. To make a black video you press on new item here and then choose black video and then afterwards choose ok. So I'm gonna grab this black video onto the timeline here. We're gonna go to effects and we're gonna grab several effects here. So the first one that we need is under video effects, then under generate, you have then cell pattern. So this one we're selected and drag it onto our black video. Now the next one we need is circle. And afterwards we need to grab under distort the turbulent displays. And the last one that we need is tint. And go to effects control. So now when we look at what we have here, it's just a yeah, weird looking dot. So we need to change the parameters to get the things that we need. So to the first thing we need to change is the circle. So the blending mode we need to change to stencil alpha. Then the radius we change to 250. Uh, really depends on the size of what you need. So currently it looks like a weird cell going on here. So it looks pretty funky. You could say like that this be like a... Um, yeah, could also be like a virus cell or a odd cell something. Uh, we can actually already animate this, so we can hit at turbulent displays, hit the evolution. So hit the stopwatch there to make a keyframe, move this to the front and then choose here and change that to 1x. So we get here in one time evolution. So when we look at this, we already get this blobby uh, yeah, cell thing going on, which could also be like a certain virus. However, I went more extreme, like, uh, yeah, more disgusting looking. Because right now, if we, we can change this to like have like a greenish tone, I like guess, at tint. And then we have like this green blob going on and actually let's move the bloodstream under it so we have like a sample how this looks so we have this blob going on that's really funky and also we can animate those blobs inside to move so we go to the cell pattern here and we have also evolution here so we also press on the stopwatch here move this keyframe to the front we change this to 3x so so it has like a really fast movement move this keyframe to the back so now when we look at it it already look quite disgusting here so those moving cells inside of that blob so this could already be like a um, yeah virus but uh, let's go further and make it just a little bit more disgusting how I have it. So we're gonna change some more parameters here at the cell pattern and we're gonna change the contrast to 250. So I have like more defined dots moving about. Change the size here to 15. Really tiny dots going on. So and we're going to change the disperse to uh, even more disperse. So we have here these tiny, tiny dots moving inside of that blob. And we're now going to change the blob to something more interesting. So this blob here, we can change at turbulent displays. We're going to change several parameters here. We're going to change the amount here to 40. We're going to change the size here to 25 and complexity to 10 and now what we have is similar to what I have 
and now we can play with the color so if we actually reset this we have this uh, going on so what the tint actually does it replaces the white or the black with a color that you want so what I have done was like a dark green tone for the white and then like a brighter green tone for like the under and another thing you can change is at the cell pattern is the overflow instead of choosing clip we can do wrap back which fills in like some of the yeah green areas or empty areas to have like also a color instead of being uh, the one like the bright color or like just have like a slight more so when we play this we can see like that yeah it just gives me the creepy crawlers like it's it looks like a lot of like insects crawling on top of each other and that was it how to make a virus inside of premiere pro hope you guys learned something here today and if you have any suggestions for other tutorials or any questions please comment those here below and if you're new to this channel and want to see more tutorials like this make sure to hit that subscribe button here below thank you guys for watching see you guys tomorrow and love you all and cd out